So my plan is to eventually build a Lego Temple of Cthulhu. And an entire town full of all the Lego monsters that you can make. But these things are expensive, so that will be coming later after I've gotten the real Church of Cthulhu up and going. Now I know what you're thinking. How hard can it be to make a Lego cultist? But it was a surprisingly bigger pain in the butt than you realize. First, they don't have anything already pre-made that is even remotely close to a decent cultist. So you have to get the pieces separately to put it together. And custom minifigures, no matter how simple, end up costing about 8 to 12 bucks a piece. But what about the Emperor from Star Wars, you say? Well, it turns out that none of the LEGO Star Wars characters wear robes. They all have hoods and capes instead. In fact, the only characters that do wear robes are from the Harry Potter series. And none of them are simple black robes. They're all different colors with patterns on them. So in order to create a plain black robe, you actually have to buy a black dress bottom, a black shirt, and a black hood. And I also got a curved Prince of Persia dagger to go with it. I'll list all the pieces down in the description. And I got everything from Firestar Toys. They have, by far, the biggest and best selection. They give you a full inventory of what you ordered. The unfortunate thing for us is they're located in the UK. Shipping costs are still very reasonable, but it took the mail carrier three weeks to get here. So the next one is a black shirt with black hands, then a black head. They only label it with white eyes with flames. I have no idea if it's from another set, because they have copies available of pretty much every LEGO minifigure they've made, and you can pick and choose the different parts. Then it's wearing a custom piece from Brick Warriors, the lovely black brute armor. And lastly, yes, those are Ursula's tentacles for legs from Disney's Little Mermaid. Now the third cultist is one you might have seen a version of, with the Cthulhu looking head. It is actually a standard Lego head, but they call it an alien trooper, and it normally comes with a Star Trek-like uniform and a ray gun. He's wearing a standard black shirt with matching green hands and wearing a custom Brick Warriors set of black demon armor. Unfortunately, the separate witch that I had ordered got lost in the mail. I was going to use her dress for his robe because she had a spell book hanging from it. So instead, I had to use the one from the Lego Lady Vampire minifigure, which I picked up from another local store. But I did get the Cthulhu headed cultist something even better. Lego's version of the Necronomicon, pictured here in a close up on the bottom right corner, which is from the Nexo Knights series and is called the Book of Monsters. Now, on to the deep ones. I did not realize how many fishmen Lego actually makes. The first one here is the Jonas Jr. minifig from the Hidden Side set's Wrecked Shrimp Boat which also features Captain Jonas with ghostly tentacles and an island with rocky cliffs that look like a monster head. So I took the Jonas Jr. body and switched out his human head for a fish head, a roly-poly fish head. But that is actually from another space set and called Alien Big Eyes. But it looks exactly what you would hope a deep one would look like in a Lego set. The orange tentacle-headed biker is supposedly from Star Wars, but I couldn't find any good references as to who it actually is or where it's from. And the half-eaten fish man with the spear gun down in front is from one of Lego's Halloween monster sets called the Swamp Creature and is basically their version of the creature from the Black Lagoon. And like I mentioned, I found out there are a bunch more in the Lego Atlanta sets, but I'm not going to spend any more money on Legos right now. But that's all I've got from the Lego Mythos of Cthulhu, so be sure to subscribe for more horror, occult, and Lovecraft madness.